Hi, this procedure describes how to change a single node cluster into a node that will allow a second node to join the cluster. So when you first set up the NetApp simulator environment, you have to set up the first node first. During the setup, you will be asked if you want to use this node as a node in a single node cluster. If you say yes, accidentally, then all ports will default to the default broadcast domain in the default IP space. But this is not a valid setup for a two node cluster. If you would add the second node, it would not be able to find any IP addresses that belong to the cluster interconnect network on the existing node. So what you need to do is first change E0A and E0B from the default broadcast domain into the cluster broadcast domain in the cluster IP space. And also E0A and E0B should be configured as host only or private and the other uh, ports should be bridged or auto-detect auto depending on the VMware solution you use. Then when E0A and E0B are in the cluster broadcast domain, then the second node will try to find a cluster interconnect IP address in the cluster broadcast domain or you can specify which IP address to use, but at least it will then be able to access that IP address and join the cluster. So what we need to do is, if we accidentally created a single node cluster, is we have to remove port E0A and E0B from node one, from the default broadcast domain, and add them to the cluster broadcast domain, also on node one. Then we will manually add an IP address to E0A of node 1 and e and E0B of node 1. Then we set up the second node and enter one of the two IP addresses of node 1 via which node 2 can join the cluster. So we remove E0A and E0B from the default broadcast domain, so they're no longer in any broadcast domain. Then we can add them to the cluster broadcast domain. So we add E0A and E0B to the cluster broadcast domain in the cluster IP space. You do not have to create the IP space and broadcast domains. They are there already. Just add the ports. Then we create a logical interface for E0A and E0B with an IP address of our choosing. I go for class B addresses. So the net mask is 255.255.0.0. Then after that, you boot the second node and join the cluster. Then you will be asked to enter a cluster interconnect IP address that's already set up and running in that cluster. Then it will configure the IP addresses for node 2 interconnect ports automatically. So again, it's important that before you do all this, make sure that E0A and E0B are not bridged, so they should be private or host only. And just to make sure, the last two commands contain a backslash. You should not type the backslash. These are two complete commands. The reason why I typed the backslash is because the rest didn't fit on the page. So leave out the backslash. I hope this helps.